Wow. Such peaceful music. People, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Impal 100. We're playing on our single player world yet again. And we started off today by doing some mining. It was a 30 minute mining trip. And in total, this is the loot that we gathered. I don't know where this iron came from. I think we might have also mined this up during this trip. It was honestly two, three weeks since we had that mining session. Lots of stuff has been going on in life. And uh, a lot of the series has been pre-recorded, but I could tell you right now, this is not pre-recorded. Man, I gotta say, all of the feedback in the comments has been incredible. Um, it seems like a lot of you guys are enjoying this series. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for, for choosing me and choosing this series. And I'm having a blast too. I figured today we'd start off our episode here, even though we got mining out of the way and we'll take up that stuff to the surface here. We actually need to get uh, cooking some of the stuff here. So we'll actually start with the iron since we need that desperately. We'll put this water back. Where is an unlimited water source at? Yes, I've been using this pond right here. So this whole lava pool here isn't working because I only have one source block up there. I feel like a doofus, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> So we'll take that right there. We'll get smelting some iron here. While that's smelting though, uh, we're gonna fix our doofus mistake here and fill up the rest of these spots with uh, lava sources here. So let's try to do this smartly and let's actually uh, put our armor on here. And we're gonna grab some blocks over this way. Let's see how we're doing block wise. I'm pretty sure we got quite a bit of it from strip mining. And we'll just take a stack of cobblestone. We're rich now with cobblestone. And we'll make a little stairway kind of going up right here as we burn ourselves and take some damage. No biggie. And I need to recognize the pattern here so I don't ruin it. Oh, man. We're just going to burn ourselves. So it's going to be two, four, and then two. Okay, simple enough. And this new music, by the way, incredible. Okay, and then we're gonna go up one more year. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> we're gonna try this one more time here. Okay, so this is where it starts technically. This music is so beautiful, I can't say enough of it. Oh, we already have a dugout, so we just need to get all the sources in the right places here. Not bad at all. Okay, so that source is in the corner there. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fixed in case you're wondering where I'm grabbing the lava from. It's right around the corner here. And where can I grab from without destroying the beauty of this? Okay. We're going to slowly but surely kind of carve away from the outer edges here. This is more decorative lava more than anything. Or maybe we could just take it out all willy-nilly and then... Uh, Repair it. Oh, copper. Okay, so this thing's already starting to work way better than it was before. And we're going to take our last piece of lava, our last bucket of lava here. We will patch this sucker up. And just like this, it's like we were never there, even though there's cobblestone in, a, in the middle of a diorite patch. But, again, it's not supposed to be perfect here. We are adding character to this area. It's supposed to look all messy and, and used and all that stuff. So anyways, that's that. Um, a few more things that I kind of had ideas from just, you know, uh, reading comments, watching over the footage again uh, of what to do here, which by the way, any more lava? No. Okay. The moment I try to get some more here. Um, in here, in our little bucket of resources, we have two very important resources we haven't gotten yet. Gold and redstone which is pretty awesome. Oh, and lapis too. It's our first lapis as well. And then tons of copper, but we already know the deal with that, which we're actually going to keep the copper here because it'll eventually need to be smelted. I'm actually going to take this gold here. See if we got lucky with lava since we last spoke. Perfect. Look at that. And take this lava right next to the iron here. And we are going to... Oh, and I guess there's still stone. Awesome. Fun stuff. Is there any other 
stuff we're missing? No, just stone from there. Why did we need stone? Maybe that's just ancient. Okay, well, no worries. Well, we have extra stone here. Um, but I do want to utilize this redstone today. I want to make uh, a compass and then also maybe a few powered rails so we don't need to be so heavily reliant upon the uh, minecart with furnace here. But yeah, this is enough underground stuff though. Um, I do have ideas to fix this if we're gonna continue to use the coal minecart uh, system here, but I think instead of doing that, we could put that to rest and make powered rails eventually because all we need is one redstone per six and I don't foresee us needing more than like 36 powered rails going up. It's just a matter of getting gold. But in the meantime, uh, we're gonna take up, or I guess we're gonna wait until this is smelted up here. So maybe give it a few more minutes of messing around. You see, look at that, almost a stack of iron. We are rich. And uh, yeah, once this is all smelted up, we're going to go up to the surface here and start on with the other stuff I want to do in this episode involving a compass. Okay, I couldn't wait any longer. I was going to meet you at the surface, but this is my idea to fix the minecart here. So I was struggling using the furnace with a minecart because you have to power it from the back. Well, what if I looped it around and did this? Oh, come on. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Come on. Okay, it's, it doesn't fix my issue here. Hold up, give me a second. Maybe we just need to be closer. So we're gonna back up, beep, beep, beep. Oh, and now this is, again, not working. Okay, hold up. This is supposed to be such a, like, hey, look at me, I'm so cool. I'm revolutionizing the game, but no, instead it's that. Okay, there, there we go. So, yeah, fun stuff. I just wanted to show you guys that a little uh, engineering there to make this work a little bit better. So you just kind of have to loop it towards the ends here. But this is probably only going to be used this episode as we have found gold and redstone as we previously mentioned. Well, while we're waiting on our completely inefficient system to catch up to us here, I wanted to go over uh, our objectives for today's episode. So we have plenty of iron and gold here and redstone lapis. Uh, not going to be using the lapis or gold per se, but with the iron and redstone, we want to make a compass. The reason why we want to make a compass is because we want to locate and mark our spawn chunks or just the four chunks around our spawn point. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. And once we're done with that, I kind of want to link up a pathway connecting from there to our starting area here. So as the furnace with a minecart pushes us through almost the end here. I forgot this never got completed. Oh my goodness. Well, here we go. We have the iron to complete this now, right? and it will loop around like such and we will have another barrel here which will make very quickly oh beautiful look at that barrel okay perfect and we will put that in there with some coal now we never need to worry about that again here and i guess we could keep rail why not one extra rail there okay awesome so like i was saying we were trying to link up our spawn chunk uh to where we have our base here so if you guys remember in the last episode we also made this little entrance to our mine which looks all right i'm thinking we want to move the pathway over a little bit more centered here which we'll get to in a second um and if you guys are new to the series haven't watched from the beginning we spawned right up here so i know the general area but i kind of want to mark out the spawn chunks to a t here so we're gonna go home enjoy this music Peaceful, peaceful music. We're going to go home, uh, store our goodies that we got from the mine here, sleep, and uh, get on with doing just that. Wait, we already had a lapis. I guess we already got lapis? Okay, no, no big deal. No worries at all. I just, I guess my memory's been off again. It's been weeks since I played on this world, so uh, I guess I just didn't remember that. All right, we're storing our stone. We're down to one baked potato. Food, perfect. Look at that, we have food reserves here from being able to farm up all of our mobs. And look at that over a stack of slime. Absolutely beautiful. So we're taking four iron and one redstone dust to make ourselves a compass. And this will take us down exactly to our spawn point to a T, like I said. So we just need to follow this little red arrow here. I'm not sure, I don't do too many of these comment question things, but I am genuinely curious to anybody who wants to answer um, have you ever used the compass mechanic before or do you just craft them to make maps? I'm curious to see the answer. 
Uh, this mechanic is a lot more useful or was a lot more useful way back in the day where coordinates weren't as commonly used. Um, but anyways, this takes you all the way back to spawn at all times. So as you can see, that red needle is now moving, which means we are passing this point here. Oh, okay. So now there's a flip, flipper de do right here. Oh, it's no, we're not there yet. Okay, it flipped right there. Boom. Did we do the flip? No. Okay, here we go. Here's the flip. As you can see, it's going counterclockwise, or it's going clockwise right now if you look at the hot bar. So this is how you know we are at our spot right here. So these four are the spawn point blocks here, and we could double check. Oh, goodness. Wait, what's going on here? So if I do this here, it doesn't work. Okay, whatever. These four chunks, I thought it was going to be perfectly in the center. See, I don't know everything about the game, and that's okay. So these four chunks here, which we will mark out, are our very own spawn chunks. I don't know how I want to... And again, it's not perfect to a T. We could spawn a little bit outside. Again, people who know the mechanic, feel free to speak up in the comments here. But I do want to outline the four chunks that kind of are the most immediate to the actual spawn point here that we located with the compass. So there we go. That's that. As far as where I want this pathway to start and finish, that's a whole nother beast. So we have these rules here. In case you guys don't know, let's take a trip down memory lane. It's been 10 episodes. If you guys remember, we set ground rules for no mods, no chunk base, take it slow and small things. Uh, focus on the small things. I guess we just, you know, shortened up the... Uh... We've never explored that mangrove biome up there. I definitely want to check that out at some point. Not yet, but we will. <laughs> 20 episodes later we finally do it um yeah so these are our ground rules that we set the moment we spawned in that's the first thing we crafted and that's our first dirt dirt block that we ever mined here which is actually this spot right here where the chest is at now so and we spawned in directly on here so i'm thinking we do some sort of monument there at some point for now i just want to kind of you know um I kind of want to um, just mark it for now and have a way to connect up here. So I'm thinking we kind of have the pathway starting to this area here. And again, we'll figure out what to do with this area later. But we'll at least get a pathway going. And I think we will loop around this edge here. Kind of go a little bit straight this way. Probably to around here, then hug a ridge line all the way here and I'm just marking this to get my thoughts together and then here we might need to do a little bit of a terraforming project um, and just kind of close up this cave and then maybe indent a pathway down here and then have it also split this way because I do want to start developing that hill in coming episodes where we could eventually make a bridge right here sound good to you guys you guys know exactly what I'm talking about of course you don't. It's all good. So we're going to go ahead, uh, do some pathway place in here, and I guess we'll see what we come up with. Oh my gosh, it's so spooky out here. Look at this. So it's actually daytime, uh, but it's a thunderstorm right now, and in the savannah, you don't have uh, rain. Oh, carrot drop. That's very rare. Luckily, we already found carrots uh, at our village over there. But anyways, yeah, we're getting attacked by mobs galore here. But I wanted to show off our progress on the pathway made. So, and, and real quick, I'm trying to, you know, maybe do some, uh, you know, de here. Just around our spawn area, just because why not? We're going to build here eventually. Oh, there's a farmer zombie right here. Just, yeah, has some seeds. He's ready to irrigate the place here he says you're lacking crop fields um says no one here <laughs> i think we have enough of those uh, in this world um yeah there we go okay yeah fun water mechanics here 
I always hate when we get to the hills here. Okay, that's good enough. We, we have enough space here. We got carried away. That's okay. So anyways, yeah, here's our pathway that takes us directly to our spawn point here. We're one off from the actual center. Uh, it's okay. And we're going to meet some mobs on the way back. Fun stuff. Do we have our shield? We do not. Okay. So let's see how good we are at this stuff. Not a good sign. Oh, no. Yeah. Not a good situation. Yeah, here's the path. Fun stuff. Oh, we never linked it up. We were supposed to do that. It's okay. So we're getting chased by monsters here. We're actually going to sleep yet again. We've already slept two times this episode. It's going to be a third world record here. And as we sleep and wake up, we'll take care of our uh, monster friends here and take care of our mess, by the way. So I think I want to cut off right here is actually where I want, yeah, the pathway to go to. So we'll go ahead and take care of this. And by the way, oh, there you go. Thank you for burning up and dying. And no string. Okay, I thought we'd be rewarded there. I guess not. We didn't earn it. We did the coward's way of killing the spider there. Okay. Enough rambling from me here. But yeah, no, this is just the final little fix here to kind of complete this pathway. I had an idea, and I think eventually we'll do this. I'm thinking we're going to uh, we're going to change this pathway from something stone or something mud to more stone in the future because of all the stone we're mining up. I thought that would be a good reallocation of resources. So tell me what you all think if you're team stone or if you like the, the default uh, path blocks here. And just like that, look at that. The pathway is completed and looks a lot better here. And maybe we'll add some like lamps or something. We'll see. And yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. I do have a little pathway jutting out this way for when we want to build this diagonal bridge. It's gonna be fun. And I'm thinking right here is like the perfect place to maybe make like a lake or something like that. Like a little artificial pond. And then it goes down here. I don't know. The idea is coming to me here. Maybe it goes underneath another bridge here. I don't know. Then kind of weaves its way through this way and then goes around the back. Ideas are coming to me. Let me know what you guys think. But for now um that's the vision we have and it's definitely going to change uh, but yeah a very um unorthodox curve right here and i think we'll have to add some details for a reason why to have this maybe a little fence post this way or some obstruction i don't know but it'll all add just a little details to make this place look better but now that we have that pathway knocked out, I want to start a more of a special project here. If you guys remember, in the last episode, um, we were kind of bad about being environmental, environmentalist, environmentalist, environmentalist. Oh my, okay. Friends of the environment, environmentalist. I can't see. I have no idea why that word sounds so awkward. Is anyone? <laughs> Goodness gracious! We voice crack. Wow, what a what a moment in history for Apollo One Hundred here. We destroyed this uh, forest for the most part, um, and I feel bad about it. And I had a comment suggested. Oh my gosh, the uh, name. I'm gonna have to go back to the comments and see who suggested this, but. In a past life, uh, I had a YouTube channel before this one, um, and we had a series, and again, you could all check that out in the series, Old School Minecraft, if you want to look it up. We had something in that world that was super special called the Enchanted Forest, where somebody would ask a question, uh, submit it, and I'd answer those questions at the end of an episode. So um, it was kind of, you know, I've never really done, you know, uh, Q and A videos on this channel, and this would kind of act as that way of you guys getting to know me a little bit better, um, or just if you guys have questions that want to be answered and hear me talk through it. It could be, uh, you know, Impala. How do you think? Uh, you know, I don't know. I can't think of any hypotheticals here. It's trying to be funny and it just you know falling flat on my face here. But, anyways, I'm thinking of doing a little terraforming here on top with some of the dirt that we have making this more navigable 
See, I can say that word, but I can't say environmentalist. Environmentalist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to make this a little bit more navigable terrain here. And then I'm going to take a lot of the saplings that I got from chopping down all the trees here and kind of spreading out to make a beautiful looking forest. We're going to focus on the environment today. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And we're going to take coal. Yay, more coal. And I just realized how um, ironic that is that, you know, I'm talking about saving the environment and then immediately I'm mining coal that I'm going to burn. Yeah, I, I know. I see the irony. All right, so we have some terraforming done here. And I'm just going to start randomly placing trees in places. It looks like one should go right here. Yeah, so on and so forth. We have around two stacks of oak saplings here. And around half a stack of birch. Not sure if we're going to, you know, code any of these uh, trees to be like, you know, birch is for channel members. Uh, oak is for regular i have no idea but we're just gonna aimlessly uh yeah plant trees around here make it look a little bit more full again um yeah so that's what we're gonna do now i kind of want to save this little area here for like a little pond i'm feeling very inspired to do some terraforming in this area to just make it look beautiful maybe we can do something with that there but again, yeah, plenty of trees here to plant because I know we're going to have plenty of comments to answer in the future. And basically, um, yeah, you guys could ask questions. If it's just a comment I like that I want to, you know, kind of shout out, then that's something I'm going to do too. So really no rhyme or reason to it. It's just a way for me to kind of, uh, you know, uh, get some interaction going on this series here. So it looks like we planted enough um, regular saplings here. Let's get some birch kind of sprinkled in throughout here then after that i'm thinking we maybe terraform up a little um just a little bit of a pond like a spring almost a natural little spring going straight into the water here and i think i'm going to add another one right here too okay we're going to get cooking here on this i have two shovels left and i have no idea why i made stone ones i'm going to upgrade to iron we have a stack of iron now so no need to rely on stone tools anymore and i'm thinking right in here we could do a little uh three blob like such you know what let's actually make it a little funky here two then we'll go to three yeah something kind of like this perfect and then we'll dig it down just too deep, nothing crazy here. And then we'll have this go all the way down to the river. Okay, so I connected it up to this little blob right here. And now I just need to fill in the water sources. And hopefully it turns out looking good here. Again, this is the uh, most satisfying part of the game, in my opinion, is just filling in water sources. Some people think it's like pulling teeth. I really think it's just a uh, relaxing component of the game. There's just something satisfying about this. Oh my gosh, so incredible. Let's take a look at this from a little bit further back. How does it look up here? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The water sources, we'll get rid of that. But then maybe we could add in some flowers and stuff. There's already some lilies of the valley here. And we could try planting or I guess bone mealing more of them and then spreading them out since I believe they'll continue to grow in this area. And I think this is where our other little pond will meet up from up here. So I'm thinking another one kind of in this area and this one will be a three blob. If you guys don't know what a three blob is, um, my brain made up that terminology. This is what a three blob is right here. A little three block circle type deal. Is five by five, um, a five by five square, and you cut off the corners. That's a three blob. So there you go. Minecraft lesson of the day. Boom. Sweet. And now we're going to take out this right here and this right here and kind of mark the pathway coming up from like right here. Yeah. That's going to look great. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and make this here. Hopefully some more trees grow in and then we could kind of add some little, you know, a little bit more detail around the edges here. All right. So we have implemented the other little pond right here. So it's another little natural spring. 
these two rivers or these streams go down. We did some diagonal action here, getting crazy. Watch out. And a kind of join together here and exit, which it should actually be wider now that I think about it, because these are two separate streams meeting up. It would make a lot more sense if it were wider, right? Because two little streams doesn't equal one little stream. Y'all get what I'm saying? All right, and then we're actually gonna, is this like a significant cave? Ooh, a cave? How deep is this going down? Okay, it's nothing crazy. Okay, we can board it up and hopefully we don't die. I just realized we don't have aqua affinity or respiration. Oh no. Oh no, this would be embarrassing. Okay, whew. All right, but yeah, we could uh, patch that up before, um, yeah, stuff happens. <laughs> But yeah, here we go. Perfect. So this looks a lot more natural now. Sweet. And then we could add like little winding bridges through here, I'm thinking. I like it a lot. Oh, how beautiful. And the trees are starting to come back. You know, we, we tear down an ordinary forest and then we replant it with something special here. How beautiful. So while this place is growing up, again, this is a work in progress here. I just kind of want to get started. I think we'll come back and do some more, you know, come back with a, a fine tooth comb. Is that what people say? A fine tooth comb. I'm going to come back here and do some more, uh, you know, some more stuff in here. What I do want to work on, though, is an entrance. I'm feeling inspired here. If you guys watch Craftworks, I did something like this around the beginning of that series where I made a stone type of fence or stone wall. And um, basically this is inspired by Toblox who uh, also plays on the Craftwork server where he pinned in his animals like this. So I kind of want to do something similar in a similar fashion here uh, for having a little wall around this enchanted forest quote unquote. So we're going to be using lots of cobblestone here. And then we're also going to be turning it into like slabs, stairs, that sort of stuff. And I want some sort of archway here uh, in the middle. So I think what we could do is build the archway together. And I went ahead and got a ton of stone and andesite from our mine below. So that was fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make 32 cobble stairs here. Um, we'll make a ton of slabs. I'm sure we're going to need more. Um, and we might as well make some of these. Might as well make some of those too. Perfect. Okay. So as far as shape goes, I think I want a five wide archway. And I'm just kind of going out in cobblestone right here just to give myself an idea. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we go in. How does that look? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. And then we'll start like uh, adding in details like this. Where we throw in stairs, make it look all nice and nice and evenly shaped, right? So then we're going to go through and just kind of edit this detail out here. Let's see how it looks when it's rounded. Oh, beautiful. And something like this. Do we want to, let's see if we could get fancy here. How does this look? Eh, don't like that. It's okay. See, we try these things to see how it looks. Maybe on top of that though, however, and this is temporary here. We do this. How does that look? We go back. That's looking good. And let's try one more thing here. I want to see if this could just be a little bit skinnier. Ooh, I got an idea. Okay. We take that. Oh, we are geniuses. That looks just incredible. Okay, so just manipulating stairs like this, right? And slabs can have things just looking extra special. And then I want this to be this tall here, like such. 
and then we'll start adding in details. I think I'm gonna do this all in cobble and then we're gonna go in and add andesite in certain places. So again, this is gonna go down all the way, just like so, all the way to the bottom here. And we'll do that. And then I think when we hit little inclines like this, we had stairs. Oh, beautiful. And is there anything missing? No, perfect. So again, it's not a perfect fence here. We're not trying to like keep cattle in as much as it looks like that. We're just trying to make this look a little bit more developed, right? And then maybe does this detail look good when I start doing this? Hmm. Does it look good? And there ne doesn't need to be any rhyme or reason to it. I'm just, you know, experimenting, derping around with blocks, doing the Minecraft thing. How does this look? Eh, it looks too castle-y. Looks a little too castle-y to me. We don't want castle-y here. Yeah, not going to do it. Okay, and then now I'm going to have to pay for my mistakes. <laughs> you guys get the point of what we're doing here? We're going to make a at least a front entrance here looking good. I'm not sure if we're going to wrap around all the way, but we'll at least get a good start on this here. All right, so we've been busy. It is nighttime right now, and we've kind of worked through it. I lit up most of the area. Some of it is still sketchy, um, but we'll get to it. Yeah, just this little slither right here. But to give you an idea, hopefully there's no creepers. I almost died. You guys didn't see that though. Because <laughs> I was not recording. But yeah, there's a skeleton creeper combo that almost took me out here. Um, luckily, eluded that. But anyways, here is our finished product, I guess you could say. Or at least a good start uh, to what we've started here. And I'll actually go ahead and do this because I think this is a nice touch. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. And we could start the pathway going through just like this. And because this bothers me, I wonder if it bothers y'all too. I always try to get these uh, neighboring blocks underneath here you get what i'm saying you can see that little sliver of what's underneath here whenever you're utilizing these path blocks so i always try to plug them up but anyways yeah here is the entrance here and i'm immediately noticing how crowded it is i kind of want this open and i think we're gonna have to take down this tree here this is sad it's a six cycle okay dang skeleton i'm trying to get all sentimental about the six cycle of tearing down trees in minecraft and instead you're gonna kill me don't you dare oh no i'm actually gonna die okay i haven't died yet i have 40 valuable levels on me right now not trying to die oh i've outsmarted you sir look at that <laughs> i uh yeah that was great i'm not gonna lie that was awesome um a bone well deserved um, outsmarted the skeleton by strafing and hiding behind our newly built wall. Um, I went ahead and detailed it a bit, adding in some andesite, uh, which was nice. I think it is missing some smooth stone here, so that's something we could go in and try to add that in, as well as maybe some uh, uh, stone brick too. Um, but overall, it's got a nice shape to it. We got around, I want to say, 50% of the area I want um, contained. Um, just this loop back here and I'm not sure how far back we want to place this so far but I'm thinking maybe this is a good place to cut it off around here but it turned out pretty awesome though I I'm enjoying this a lot and I think to uh, kind of end the episode here today um, might be beginning to utilize this area by answering or just acknowledging some questions here and shouting out the channel members too all right so I had an incredible idea, and I think it's incredible. We'll see if it actually is. Um, we're placing a crafting table here. Uh, I want to follow through on this incredible idea real quick. So um, I wanted a special way to acknowledge all the channel members outside of comments here, just because that's like above and beyond. Like just people commenting is enough for me, but 
you know, to everyone else who's channel members, thank you so much. Um, but I did want to do something special because I really don't have any perks to membership. It's just like it's kind of there on YouTube here. So I figured why not have a member tree <laughs> and <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, here's the idea here. Uh, so the first member on this channel here is uh, Oakley2984, Oakley Gaming. I'm just going to go off of their at. Um, so the first member, there we go. And we'll kind of, we're not going to do this for everyone, like the first, the second, but I, th I think it's cool to have the first member on here. So at Oakley2984, there we go. So there you go, Oakley. You are the first member on this tree. Thank you so much for being a channel member. And now this is where the fun stuff's going to happen. Every single time we have a new member, and I'm not expecting this to grow, you know, very soon from now, but over time, I think it would be funny to see this happen here, where we will go, me, yeah, throw this here, we'll get another oak sapling going, oh, and take fall damage, and we're going to continue to grow trees here, so then now we have... Zincberg, right up here. You guys get what we're doing? And uh, what is it? Uh, it's going to be at Zincberg. I think just like this. There we go. How are we going to do this again? I don't I don't know. So maybe something up top. Zincberg plays on the Craftwork server with me. And again, just incredibly supportive and makes great videos. Uh, go check him out as well. Oh, goodness gracious. We could say the second member, Craftworks. Shout out Craftworks. I don't know. <laughs> Shout out Craftworks. Let's go. Okay. Anyways, Zinkberg's here and then so on and so forth. This is just going to turn into a tree of madness here. We're just going to preemptively put a ladder there in case anyone else wants to join in on it. So anyways, that is our member tree and it's just going to grow large and uh hopefully yeah grow large and chaotic the more members we get on this um on this channel here so now i do want to uh shout out a question i went through the depths of all the videos here and i think there's a good question from heisenberg uh, 450 here so at heisenberg 450 um heisenberg asked me um or i guess i could just read off the comment here yay new episode i don't know if i mentioned it but what style did you think you would use for your builds in this series maybe you could look oh oops maybe you could look for a mushroom island in the future and turn it into an alien base something abstract i love the abstract stuff if you guys check out my first uh series ever on this channel it was when the nether update came out and i came out with a very funky uh build and uh yeah didn't obviously follow through on that world but i uh, love the abstract type builds so that's an awesome idea as far as a build style goes i think you guys are starting to learn uh it's nothing consistent uh, I mean, windmill, I guess there's like some farm builds here. And then we went straight to the mine and now we're doing something like this. So yeah, the answer is no really consistent build style. Again, this is me, I guess the style of this series is me taking the game in bite-sized chunks. And when you do that, it's really tough to stick to a certain style because it elongates the playing process, I guess you could say. All those fancy words to say no. Uh, no specific style here, but I do say I love the idea of doing some sort of alien type stuff. Um, I don't know, abstract builds, all that sorts of stuff. Awesome, awesome. And anyways, I'm just going to continue to go through comments I think are cool. I know there's lots of catching up from episodes 1 to now 10. 10 episodes on this beautiful world. And it wouldn't be possible without all of you. So thank you so much for tuning in, uh, liking the video, disliking, commenting, all that good stuff, subscribing to the channel. It's all been awesome, and I'm just truly blessed to have an amazing uh, uh, support system such as y'all. But yeah, 
Anyways, guys, it has been another fun episode here. Looking forward to what's to come in the future. So take it easy, have a good one, and I'll see you right where we left off in the next episode. Take care for now. Wow, that's creepy. Take care for now. <laughs> see y'all.